His Majesty Zulkarnin was a very powerful king. He conquered the whole world. Quran says he conquered the extreme east and west of the world. On his conquest he reached a nation who did not speak his language, he communicated through an interpreter. The nation asked a favor from him and said, As you are a very powerful king, we are in a terrible situation, please help us to get out of it. They said, O Zulkarnin, Verily, Gog and Magog are doing great mischief in the land. Shall we then pay you a tribute in order that you might erect a barrier between us and them? So his majesty Zulkanen filled up the gap between the two mountain cliffs using huge blocks of iron and molten copper and separated Gog and Magog from that nation. The Gog and Magog could not scale it or dig through it. And the world would be safe from their mischief till the end of time. According to the narration of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Gog and Magog are so many in numbers that in order to break through that barrier they lick it every day, and when it almost becomes breakable by the end of the day, they leave it for the next day, but next day, the barrier returns to its fixed, previous condition. Because they do not say, if the God wills. But near to the end of time they will say, if the God wills, we will break through this barrier tomorrow. Due to their statement, if the God wills, the barrier will break and they will spread all over the world and will do the mischief to its limits. In another narration of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when Jesus will be sent back to the earth, he will eliminate the Gog and Magog. In that fight there will be so many dead bodies of the Gog and Magog that the earth will start to stink and the diseases will be spread. The believers will not be able to dispose off their bodies. Then Jesus will pray to the Lord Almighty. There will be heavy rainfall and flood, which will clean up the earth. The infidelity will be vanished from the face of the earth. And then under the supervision of Jesus, the justice will be established all over the world, and the blessings of the Lord Almighty will reach to everyone. When the belief in the Lord Almighty will be stronger in people, the size of the fruits will be bigger and better in taste. They will enjoy more and more blessing of the Lord Almighty. This was the last story in the Quranic chapter The Cave. May the Lord Almighty guide us to the straight path like he did to his prophets. Amin.